governor christie keep his promises when it comes to the state budget? news twelve new jersey's walt kane has been investigating. he's here now to put the governor to the truth test. how do you do? well, eric, since january, governor christie has made all kinds of promises about the budget. and our investigation finds he did keep most of them. but even some of the ones he kept could make some of you unhappy. i'm cutting spending in three hundred and seventy five different state programs from every corner of state government. Governor Christie has indeed cut spending. His budget is the lowest since Jim McGreevy was governor. And we are certainly not increasing the tax burden upon the people that we serve. There may be no broad tax increases, but homeowners will pay higher taxes because the governor got rid of rebates. Christie says he'll provide tax credits starting really next year. In Low-income families will also have to shell out more money because the governor reduced the earned Harris. income tax credit. But when it came to one proposed time. tax on New Jersey's wealthiest, the governor was crystal clear. They can package it however they want to package it. They can send it to me with a bow on it. No matter how they send it to me, it is going back. It is going back with a veto on it. Like it or not, Christie did veto the millionaire's tax. Polls show most New Jerseyans think that was a mistake. The governor also promised to take on state workers. Our benefits are too rich. Most public employees contribute too little. And the taxpayers have had enough. One look at the biggest protest in state history will tell you the governor kept that promise. He signed a law reducing benefits for new state workers and pressured teachers in some districts into giving up their raises. Now, there was one promise the governor simply was not able to keep. That was the one to sign a bill capping property tax increases at 2.5%. Lawmakers didn't pass it. Instead, they passed a different bill, but uh, Christie has already called them back to Trenton for a special session starting on Thursday. So what do you think? Did the governor keep his promises? Call me at 732-738-KANE or email Kane in your corner at news12.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Just look for Kane in your corner. And that hearing on Thursday is going to be very interesting. We're going to find out uh, what the governor has to say. 2.5 versus 2.9, which is the Senate president's plan. Yeah, but, but very different bills. It's not just 0.4 percent. There are some, some loopholes or exemptions, depending on how you want to look at it, in the uh, legislature bill that would not be in the Christie proposal. Sure, one of them would be a constitutional amendment. The right. other one doesn't have to go to the voters. Okay. Absolutely. All right, well, Kane, thank you.